In this video, we will discuss the aortic arches. The embryo has two primitive aortae, right and the left. This is how they look when seen from the side. Each primitive aorta has three parts, the ventral aorta, the dorsal aorta, and part connecting the both parts is the arch. Now let's visualize the primitive aorta from front, this is how it looks. As the embryo develops the ventral aorta fuses to form the aortic sac. The aortic sac has right and left horns, from which the aortic arches arise. The aortic sac lies superior to the truncus arteriosus of the heart tube. The dorsal aorta, caudal to aortic arches, fuses to form a single vessel to form the future descending thoracic aorta. The first pair of aortic arches formed from ventral aorta. Second pair, third pair, fourth pair, fifth pair and sixth pair of aortic arches from the aortic sac joins the dorsal aorta on each side. The fifth arch either never forms or forms incompletely and then regresses. The first arch disappears but small portion persists to form maxillary artery. The second arch disappears and remaining portion forms hyoid and stapedial artery. The third arch forms common carotid arteries and proximal part of internal carotid arteries. External carotid artery arises from sprout of third aortic arch. The dorsal aorta between third and fourth arch disappears. So distal internal carotid artery is formed by the cranial portion of dorsal aorta. The right fourth aortic arch forms proximal part of right subclavian artery and its distal part is formed by portion of the right dorsal aorta and the seventh intersegmental artery. The right dorsal aorta, caudal to seventh intersegmental artery, disappears. The left fourth aortic arch along with the left horn of the aortic sac forms the arch of aorta, which is continuous with the left dorsal aorta. The left subclavian artery arises from left seventh intersegmental artery. The right horn of the aortic sac forms the brachiocephalic trunk. The sixth aortic arch is also called pulmonary arch. The distal portion of pulmonary arteries arises from buds of sixth arch which grows into the developing lungs. Proximal portion of pulmonary arteries develops from proximal part of sixth aortic arch. The distal portion of sixth arch on the right side disappears and, on the left side persists to form ductus arteriosus. After the partition of truncus arteriosus, main pulmonary artery develops from pulmonary trunk. As the heart shifts caudally during development, left subclavian artery origin shifts higher, close to the origin of left common carotid artery. This completes the development of the aortic arches. Hope the video was useful. See you soon in the next video.